Hello everyone. Well, there is going to be snow around today, tonight, and tomorrow, but not a lot. That said, I do want to try and highlight when you might see a few flakes of snow flying around, and it's not early this morning. For the morning commute, looking completely dry. Lots of clouds out there, though, and quite a bit of light fog, though, not seeing very much dense fog, but quite a bit of light fog around. Now, I do think the light fog is all going to be gone after the early morning hours. By 11 a.m., we will be fog-free, but... Beginning around 11 a.m., I do want to mention the chance for some flurries of snow starting to pop up. And I will say that the opportunity for seeing these flurries of snow looks like the late morning through the early afternoon of a very weak area of low pressure working over us. And it looks like there's a little bit more energy with this area of low pressure to the north than the south. So the best chance of seeing some flurries of snow late this morning through the early afternoon does look like the northern part of the area, places like Columbus, Fremont, Omaha, Council Bluffs, the farther south you live, the less likely it is that you're going to see any flurries. During the late morning and early afternoon, see 2 o'clock, still a few blue dots showing up. It's also about 2 o'clock that we'll be hitting our high temperatures, and we're looking at highs low to mid-30s, very reasonable for this time of year, and winds no more than 10 miles per hour today, so no wind chill factor to worry about. It's really going to be feeling like the low to mid-30s. Now, for the homebound commute, 5 o'clock, notice the chance of flurries going away. Still quite a bit of cloud cover around, but I don't think there'll be any flakes of snow flying around at this point. However, the chance for isolated snow showers and flurries is coming back late tonight. I do think from 5 o'clock through the evening hours, nothing going on, but beginning around probably 1, 2 a.m., Isolated snow showers and flurries become a possibility for us. Now, there's going to be a lot more snow down to the south and east of us. That's where a much stronger area of low pressure is going to be moving by. And we are going to be on the drier side of this low. So I think we're going to get some isolated activity, some flurries. But the real big accumulating snows, that's not going to be over us. But the flurries coming back again late tonight. And guess what? Isolated snow showers and flurries will probably be around for a good chunk of tomorrow as well. I do want to stress, this does not mean there's going to be flurry activity throughout the day, but don't be surprised tomorrow if there are a few flakes of snow, then it stops, then a few flakes of snow, then it stops. That's a possibility for the morning commute tomorrow. Notice lots of gaps, but some flurries and spots. And the reason why we're going to keep this flurry chance going, the chance for isolated snow showers, is not because of that low that's going to be pushing off to the east, but we're also getting a cold front tomorrow. And so that's going to keep the chance for these isolated snow showers and flurries going probably through about mid-afternoon tomorrow. Here we are at 11 a.m., still a possibility for a little bit of snow. Also, look at the temperatures. So our warmest temperatures are probably going to be late morning, warming up most probably in the upper 20s some might get stuck in the mid 20s but look what happens when we jump from 11 a.m tomorrow morning to 3 p.m and some temperatures come down a little bit because that's the cold front coming through so i do expect temperatures to drop a little bit in the afternoon the front should be clear of us though by three o'clock tomorrow and that'll be the end of the isolated snow showers and flurries behind the cold front though as our temperatures come down it's also going to get windy so unlike today tomorrow we're looking at wind gusts around 30 miles per hour so definitely a wind chill factor it's going to feel about 10 degrees colder than what these temperatures are indicating so yes we're talking about feels like temperatures in the teens for lots of us and if you're wondering between today tonight and tomorrow how much snow are we going to see well because it's all going to be flurries isolated snow showers you know most of us are just going to see a dusting tenth of an inch at the most a few might get up to a quarter of an inch